Hi, I'm Brad Shores, and this is Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to cover the song Something Samba. This is an original song I did a few years ago, and it, uh, the chord changes on it are fairly simple. It's uh, 1, 6, 4, 5, which in this case would be C major, A minor, F major, and then G major, which will all be annotated. <clears throat> the melody is not very hard, it's a little bit repetitious. And, but the improv you want to do with this would be centered around the C major scale. And also we can, we can delve more into um, getting more exact, like using the A minor scale, which is of course the, the C major scale again. But first we're going to play the, the melody, and uh, I might do some improv with it, and I may do some double stops on the melody just to demonstrate that. So here we go. Okay, well in this song, <clears throat> you'll notice that I did a lot with the C major scale because this entire song centers around the C major scale. C is the central key, and it does have the A minor uh, chord in it and the F major chord, but those are all uh, good friends of C. They all have the same notes in the C scale. So I did a lot of this. I used the B and D, which was on the G chord. The double stop there. Instead of just playing D, I used a double stop. I did B and D. And as I moved up the ladder, I went to E and C. F and D. And that, if you play that a lot, that'll just get in your hands and it'll, it'll just be something that you play all the time. I also use, sometimes I use uh, a little bit of the E flat to E, that little embellishment that we always talk about. And I also used uh, the, the stay on the G and do the C scale. That. It's a good filler part. I also um, used a lot of uh, open sixths, like six, note, six notes apart, like the F, clear down to the A. E goes with G. D goes with F. C goes with G, uh, E. So, if you come down the scale from F and use the, that, uh, the six down, or the A, F, F and A, E and G, 
and D, it works nice. Those are nice partner notes for that little lick. Instead of just going, you can go. Yes, it takes a little practice. It takes a little uh, practice to get muscle memory on those uh, combinations. But it does make you sound more professional. It sounds like more people are playing with you. So. Uh, the other, one of the other things I want to talk about was using just the C scale and quoting. I did a little pattern on the C scale coming down. And the other was, sometimes I just quoted the song. Only I did it with double stops. Might have changed the rhythm a little bit. Instead of just playing, uh, I might have played. It's a little bit different, but I played around with the melody just enough to make it seem a little bit different. Which again is just it's just improvisation. That's quoting is still improvisation. It just makes things a little bit uh, more interesting to listen to. It's just in, instead of just hearing the melody over and over and over. So on this song, uh, again the C major scale, a lot of that stuff will be annotated and you can uh, play through it. Work with your C major scale, work different chords, combinations, embellishments are important because they make you sound like a mature player. And uh, that's a great, it's a great little tune. I, I should play that more. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and leave comments. Uh, a lot of the times we do uh, videos for people who have left a comment like, hey, could you do a video concerning this? So I do read those and we do take those into account. Also, uh, if you have steel drum track needs or book needs, uh, anything educational, please go to tropicalshores.net. Also, please go to panland.name.com. It's a social network for steel drum players from all over the world. There's pictures, videos, sometimes there's downloadable tracks for free, and PDF files, sheet music. And so uh, it's a great place to belong to. Well, that's it for this time. See you later.